Hello everyone and welcome back to another SFAX tutorial with Almond. Today we'll be looking at how to install the Yorkscast Complete uh, SFAX Pack onto the Yorkscast Complete Mod Pack. So to start with just type in SFAX into Google search and go to the bdcraft.net website. You're then going to want to be on this screen and go to the first one of them and click this one. This is getting the sort of core pack I suppose, I'm not really sure what it's called that you're going to put, be putting the patch on and for the Yogscast complete pack on at the AT launcher you're going to need to go all the way down to the older versions and you're going to want 64 by 64 for MC 1.6.4 uh, this will come up it always does it's fine just gotta wait like 5 seconds and then you're just going to want to save that as, or just just leave it. Just save it as anything. Just save it in the right in the right folder, I suppose. So save that. Uh, then you can go back onto the Sfax website and go to the patches section. Now, the one you want, Yorkscast complete, is on the last page. So you go to the last page and just get rid of that and go to patch details and my loads go all the way down it says there's a 128 one but there's not it doesn't come up so the one you need is a 64 so you just go on that and it should start loading in a second oh wait no I don't. no then you got to click on one of these two so you click on I'm going to use Google Drive, doesn't really matter. It says there's a problem because it's, it's too big basically. So. Too damn big. so then you just go download anyone, anyway. And you just, make, just make sure you save it in the same folder. It takes a long time to download, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so. Um, it's downloaded now and what you can do is just go to your, your folder that you used and what I do is I just move them to the desktop just around there, I usually put the, the patch on the right don't know why, it just seems to make sense and what I use is 7-zip and I open both the archives like this And what you need to do then is just do that, just select them all, click them and move them over and it will start copying. It takes uh, that's fairly quick for being such a big file, I suppose. I'll be back when it's downloaded. Copying, not downloading. I said it wrong in the system. So then it will ask you if you want to confirm the file copy and you click yes and it will basically just copy it again and then it's done so it um, takes like a couple of seconds just to sort of think about what it's doing not sure why I think it's just because it's quite a big file it's, uh, Yeah, it's done now. So, and then it the the file, the one you need will pop down here. Might not be the one you need. It might the other one might stay up here, but you know it should it won't be it'll be the one that's not a patch. What I do is just delete the patch one, and then I open. Oops, now I open the AT launcher. So then what you're going to do is go to Instances, find the Yogscast Complete Pack and before you click play, go to the settings and somewhere, give it about four to five maybe megabytes of RAM, well, 
when I say four to five, I mean four to five thousand megabytes of RAM, and click save. I'm going a little bit higher actually. No, nope, doesn't want me to. Oh, well, that's what I'm going to do. And then just click, click off everything like that, and click play. It will then load up the uh, Yours Cast Complete instance, and from there you can put the texture back in the in the folder. So I'll be back when that's loaded. Okay, so now the Yours Cast Complete pack is loaded, and it should say 240 mods loaded and 240 mods active, all of that stuff. So then you go to the uh, resource packs and you open the resource pack folder and then you can oops easy grab the, the texture pack and move it in there click X on that and widescreen that one again click on that and it's it will take a long time to uh, load that a uh, fairly long time see mine's not responding now but it it's loading. Back when it's loaded. There's a lot of waiting on this process, just to warn you. Okay, and here we are, and it has loaded. And as you can see, it's all turned into Sfax. So if I go on one I just made a second ago. Loading the world, building my terrain. Thinking about something, not responding. Yeah, it does this a lot. I think it's it's a mixture of the size of the texture pack and the size of the mod pack as well, because it is mentally big. Two hundred and forty mods. So yeah, it will freeze a couple of times probably, but that's just what it does. Now I've got a computer that costs, I don't know, like £800, uh, and it still does it. I used to play this on my laptop, which was not a gaming laptop, and you couldn't see past probably 20, 20 squares or whatever the hell it's called away. So there you are, and it's all done, and if you go on... have a look at everything. It's, it's all there. See? Except hoy. Not sure what not sure what those are. But yeah everything's there are some that don't uh, I I don't know why that is. But yeah, you can see everything is loaded, just as it should. So, thank you for watching, and see you next time. Goodbye. Have a great day.